Hello everyone, today I'm going to make a video uh, on the Roku and Wi-Fi performance. I actually had a few questions asked about it and uh, how it all basically correlates. And so you know, your, your performance, your network performance determines your quality of your uh, Roku uh, output. So if you have a slow network or a slow Wi-Fi connection, then your uh, screen quality or picture quality is going to be lowered by that. The Roku automatically senses how much it can put on the screen through your network without buffering and it lowers the resolution down to that level. So it's in your best interest to have the highest network speed you can get uh, whether it be Wi-Fi or LAN speed uh, you know it's uh, uh, better to have faster. Faster is better. Now if you have a uh, LAN connected Roku, in other words you have a network cable going from your router to your um, Roku, you probably don't have any speed problems at all because that will give you all the speed that your uh, internet connection can actually dish out. But if you have a 3500R like I do, I also have a Roku 3, but if you have a 3500R like I do and uh, you, you connect it, it, you can only connect Wi-Fi through that device, okay, there's no Ethernet for it. And my Roku 3 I use Wi-Fi as well. so. Uh, basically, I don't want cables all over the place. Wi-Fi is one of the reasons I bought it. Uh, so, if you have a slow Wi-Fi connection, you're going to have problems with uh, video uh, quality. And I'll show you that in a second. Okay. Now, other determining factors in Wi-Fi speed are what kind of router you're using uh, and, you know, the distance between your router and uh, your device. And the further the distance, the lower the quality of the signal, the slower the speed. Okay. Now, if your router is a really old, slow router, like a pre N150 router, like a A or B router, then I'd say upgrade your router. Um, here, here's an example. This is a 300 megabit per second router. Okay, it has little antennas on it. It's uh, adjustable, and it's quite good, quite fast. Uh, it even has uh, LAN ports on the back, so it's a fully featured router, $20 on Amazon, okay? So if you're using an old router, really, you have no excuse any longer than to go and get yourself uh, a new router. This is the TP-Link uh, 300 megabits per second wireless N router, and uh, it's a version 9, um, and the model number on it is TLWR841. N. And I'm going to put a link to that on the on the description because seriously, if you don't have a if you have any less than a 300 uh, megabit per second router for 20 bucks, hey, you can have one. So there's really no reason to to hold off on on doing that any longer. So that's excellent. I'm going to do a, a review on that router as well. But currently, I'm going to show you uh, how to optimize your uh, Wi-Fi speed on the Roku and. Uh, I'm going to show you a secret screen that isn't on the menus for the Wi-Fi uh, optimization. Okay, so uh, let's get at it. Okay, here we are at the home screen and we want to check and see what kind of uh, Wi-Fi connection quality we have right now. So um, the easiest way for you to do that is to go to settings and then go over to about down to network and then over again to the right and then uh, you'll see it says signal strength is good. So I'm just going to click update connection. And basically what it does is reconnects you to your router just to double check that you got a good connection. And it's taking a little bit, but you know, there we go. So we're still connected. Still says good. Well, what does good actually mean? If you want to check your signal strength uh, for real, the best way to do it is to go to the secret Wi-Fi screen. So we'll do that next. So you go home and then you click your home button after you've gone home. And you've got to do this at a, at a pretty quick rate. So if we just follow along, along I'll put the, uh, the instructions on how to do this on, on either uh, annotated here or I'll just put it into the description. But what you need to do is hit the home button five times, the forward button once, the down arrow button once, the rewind button once, the down arrow button once, and the fast forward button again. And you have to do this fairly quickly. So I'm going to try and do this. Uh, actually, going to do it. 
Uh, so there's five time on the home. One, two, three, four, five. Fast forward, down arrow, rewind, down arrow, fast forward. And there we have our secret antenna screen. So our antenna secret screen, as you can see. And um, I'm not sure if the video is going to pick up the color or not, but I got, uh, you know, an amber to, to a yellow color on the bottom antenna and the green on the top just barely and then it goes back to light green almost to amber again and you know basically this is not a great signal strength okay but signal strength isn't everything throughput is something as well so let's see what the throughput is here and the way you check that and we'll go do this go home and then go over to Voodoo people don't know this but Voodoo actually has an internet uh, speed test on it so we're gonna go do that so click on Voodoo, wait for this to load. All right. And then you have three options, sign up, browse, or log in. Well, we're going to go to browse. So go down to browse. And then you get your menu. Scroll over to the right till you get to My Voodoo. Then go down to My, My Movies. And then scroll over to the right again to Info and Settings. Click on that. And then you'll see the network speed test is highlighted. Click on it again and once again. So this is a network speed test. So what, what it will tell you is what kind of throughput your current connection is capable of handling. handling. So I'm going to click on start on this. Now understand that your throughput is dependent on a lot of things. It's dependent on your Wi-Fi connection to your router. It's also dependent on your connection to the Internet. Uh, if you don't have a 1.5 megabit or higher connection to the internet, then the Roku is not going to work well for you. Okay, And even if you have 1.5 or higher, uh, as you can see from this gauge, you need like 2.5 uh, and higher just to get 720. And 9 if you, if you want to get higher. Now, if you want to test your internet speed uh, directly, click on the, uh, basically go to your... Uh, computer or connect your computer to your router and then go to speedtest.net then on speedtest.net you'll be able to see uh, you know a proper uh, bandwidth uh, level on your uh, router so as you can see I'm barely hitting at 1.5 for the most part here so uh, we ha definitely have to improve our throughput on this uh, connection uh, obviously where I have the router which I purposely you know shielded with some metal and uh, made it uh, degrade the, the signal on it it needs to be improved uh, for the most part changing the location in the room it's in uh, put it placing it higher uh, maybe fooling around with the external antennas if you have them that improves your performance so I'm going to do that and then we'll do the test again okay I moved the route closer and uh, um, change this position so let's see how much that improves the uh, actual performance so we're gonna go to settings network and you see now the signal strength is good still good uh, so that doesn't really mean a lot I'm gonna update the connection just for you know just for kicks here that looks good and uh, let's go to back to uh, actually let's go to the network um, the secret antenna screen which is five homes one two three four five fast forward down rewind down fast forward okay and now I seem to have a lot better uh, signal there I got green bars um, my RSI, the lower those numbers beside the RSSI, the better. I got 48 and 51, pretty good. Uh, you can move uh, the, the Roku around as well to try and improve uh, that performance. Uh, in my case, I have the Roku uh, 3500R stick, which is plugged into my HDMI port on my uh, TV, which makes it hard to move around. I'm thinking about getting an extension cord, uh, an ex uh, male to female HDMI cable so I can move it around and get even better signal. But this is pretty good. So let's go and do the speed test on Voodoo. 
So over to Voodoo. Again, make sure you do the, st the test on speedtest.net uh, by connecting your laptop or computer directly to your router using a LAN cable and uh, seeing what kind of uh, internet speed you have because you can play around with this all you want. If you have a slow internet connection, you're not going to get any real decent speed here. So that, that would be your step one. Check your internet connection. If you've got a good one, then go on. I've got a 15 megabit per second connection. Uh, I, I'd say you require at least nine or, you know, to have a decent uh, experience, uh, HD experience on the Roku. So here we're going to go to Browse, then uh, over to My Voodoo, down to My Movies, then again right to Info and Settings, down to Speed Test, click on that, click on that again, and let's start the test. And as you can see now, I'm way up on the bar, uh, 9.0 or higher. Uh, that's where I want to be, and that's with a good connection. So, um, definitely moving it around, using the uh, secret uh, antenna screen to improve your numbers. Uh, are, it, it's a big plus in trying to figure out whether you've got a good connection or not. Uh, if you don't want to fool around with that, then you can just keep moving it around until this improves. But I think that if you use a combination of all the tests I, I uh, suggest, you're going to get better results like this. Okay, so once again, make sure you test your internet speed first. So connect your computer directly to your router using a LAN cable if possible. If not, if you only got a Wi-Fi connection to your router, then put your computer right next to the router and uh, go to speedtest.net. Uh, do a, a test on your land speed and uh, then see if you've got a high throughput on your internet connection. If you do, if you got 10 or higher, then go back over here. Uh, whatever you have, actually, if you have 5 or higher or 4 or higher, it's, more, it's good enough to make the Roku work. So uh, Roku actually recommends 1.5 megabits per second or higher to make the experience worthwhile. Uh, obviously, I've got 9.0 and higher, so my test is complete. All right, uh, I hope this helped you out. That's it for my video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like this video and it helped you out in some way, do me a favor, click on the like button right down here. And, uh, you know, if you wish to subscribe to my channel, just click on this link up here. And that should subscribe you to the, the uh, Richard Lloyd channel or Richard Lloyd USA channel. Um, okay, again, thank you very much for your time and watching.